Greetings, this is Earthman from EarthmanSoil.com. God bless you this day, your plants, your family, and all that. And I'm glad you're here. Um, you're a part of the elite that want to learn how to gr truly grow organically uh, using the, the uh, God's creation and all that's in it and not man-made garbage. Um, so, what are growth-promoting bacteria once again? Okay, well, let's look at the plant first. You know, you look at the plant and you think, I mean, they're pretty vulnerable. But we know better that plants are not vulnerable as they appear. And they got a little buddy that helps them. Little buddies, I should say. And these are soil microbes. And soil microbes, what they do is they form a symbolic relationship with your plant. And by doing that, they offer your plants uh, to boost its defense, uh, defense system. Um, and, and, and help promote its growth through different functions and different ways. And in return, they get food. And we'll talk about that in a minute. You know, uh, growth promoting bacteria, what they do is basically they hang out around your plant's root system in, or, in and around it, except for mycorrhizal. They do stretch out, but they're able to still connect with the root system to get fed. But they like the root system because what they do is they make, they uh, help uh, dissolve minerals and uh, food around the, the rhizosphere and they help feed your plant. They help make those nutrients ready. Uh, like we were talking about before, real minerals. Um, plants don't uh, have root uh, mouths in their roots, so they need to be broken down, right down to the molecule. Um, and uh, that's what the mycorrhizal and all the pro growth promoting bacteria do. And they make that uh, ready for your plant to eat. And then uh, the mycorrhizal will uh, transport it to the root system uh, likewise. And, um, and so um, that's just uh, one of the different things. And, you know, and let's talk more. Let's talk about more what they do. Um, growth promoting bacteria, you know, they directly affect a plant's growth by facilitating the ability or the availability uh, of nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, and other different trace minerals and macro and micronutrients. These nutrients are critical to a plant's you know, biochemistry and how they function and how they grow. And if you don't have them, your plant won't grow. Why nitrogen, phosphorus, iron, and other minerals might be readily, uh, they might be found in abundance in a lot of different soils. It doesn't mean that that's going to be available to your plant. That's where the bacteria come in. The, uh, what they do is they excrete acids and enzymes and stuff that break down those pieces of phosphate, iron, magnesium, boron, silica, and they make it uh, plant ready. They make it, they chop it up and cook it and do all that stuff. That way all your plants got to do is suck it up. And so, um, so why, why are they doing this? Why do bacteria do this? And what keeps them alive? What's in it for them? Uh, well, they get fed from the root system. As your plant gets bigger, it leaks carbohydrates. And those carbohydrates is what feeds your bacteria and so the bigger the plant the bigger the root system the more bacteria you're going to have because it could be more food leaking out of your root system and that's one way of you know keeping your plant happy and keeping your bacteria happy they do it on their own you don't even have to do anything that's the way god made it you know uh you know and also growth promoting bacteria they have natural they produce natural hormones plant hormones like auxins and cytokines and other ones like that that stimulate plant growth, root growth, uh, shoot growth, and exchange, they get fed, you know, and they also uh, trigger a plant's um, ability to defend itself. Um, how do they do this? Um, well, they do it through a thing called induced systematic resistance, which triggers the signaling of a plant to activate its plant's defense system, such as reaffording reinforcing a plant's um, uh, plant cell walls, producing antimicrobial um, stuff that will fight bacteria and synthesizing uh, pathogen-related proteins that will help likewise. And there's so many more other ways that they protect your plant against uh, pathogens and fungi and evil stuff that want to destroy your plant. Now, um, you know, Growth promoting bacteria, they come in different forms. Um, I have it in three different forms on our website. Um, uh, one is in a uh, freeze dried powder form, 
and um, and another one is in um, an IMO three fashion, which is uh, it's inoculated wheat bran, which is my favorite way. And our matter of fact, our Grovana OS is the one that has all our bacteria and biostimulants in it. For the most part, unless it's uh, it doesn't have the science stuff in it, but we do ha have that availability. But um, and then we have liquid inoculants too. I um, had some on the market. I sold, you know, uh, took them off. Um, I'm putting them back up now. It just was a lot of demand for it. And it was, and so um, I want to make good quality product for you guys, and and, uh, and that's for sure. And I and also I figured a way of um, stabilizing it for during shipping, which is an awesome thing. Now, um, you know, growth promoting bacteria, guys, is the way to go if you wanna grow organically, and there's no way around it. You gotta have bacteria and fungi uh, taking care of your plant's root system, feeding it, uh, its plant uh, defense mechanisms, so many, many things that they do. And you don't never need to have liquid fertilizers ever again. And like we are talking about in these other videos, if you want uh, uh, nutrient-dense, healthy plants that reduce both your medicine and uh, all your different stuff uh, that your plant's going to need, you got to have a living soil. Check us out at Earthman Soil. We have so many things to offer you. So check us out. And uh, we're going to talk, keep talking about this more and more uh, throughout the weeks. May God bless you this day.